watch that chick flick I set to record the other night? Ruth, can you come in here? What is it? Can you just come in here, please? Damn it, I'm tired. What? What the hell is this? Happy birthday to the best stepmother a girl could ask for. Now it's your turn to make a wish. Peyton, my birthday was three days ago. I know, it's just I didn't have money for the cake until today, so... Where did you get the money for the cake? Well, I just saved all the lunch money you gave me for the past couple weeks. What the hell have you been eating all this time? I'm eating light. Watching my waist. Now all your teachers are going to think I'm starving you? I didn't give you money for a cake. Well, it's too late now, so you're going to blow up the candles or not? Don't be fresh with me. I'll blow out the candles. It's pretty good, huh? <coughs> Mother made is my favorite. <coughs> oh, is, is everything okay? <coughs> Do you want some more? <coughs> no. More for me then. Good night, mother. Fine, I'll have your birthday wish. Hey. You okay? Yeah. Sorry, I've been a little out of it lately. I was just thinking about my dad. It's been a while since he's called. Did you talk about it with your mom? Jake. Hey, maybe you should. All right, I gotta go. Good night. Good night. Love you. Love you. Did Jake have fun last night? I heard you come in about 20 minutes past curfew. Yeah, sorry. The movie was a little longer than I thought it'd be. That's the third time in the last two weeks. I know. Sorry. Won't happen again. It's fine. You know, maybe I'm just jealous. I wish you and I would watch a movie every now and then like we used to. Yeah, but you have Mr. Feldman to watch movies with now, right? Shay, I know it can't be easy to see me dating anybody who's not your father. But it's been a year now. How long do I wait before you're comfortable enough for me to move on with my life? Your father left, and unfortunately, things have changed. I know things change, Mom. Guess I just never thought you'd end up dating my English teacher is all. Shay, if you really have that much of a problem with me dating Isaac, I will call him no, right Mom. now. It's fine, really. Shay, you can talk to me, you know that. There's nothing to talk about, Mom. We'll watch a movie soon, okay? I gotta get to school. What are you doing 
Is everything okay with Ruth? Oh, she's fine. She's just really sick. She got a bad staph infection and is held up at home on all these antibiotics. Oh my god. I mean, she seemed perfectly normal yesterday. Well, that's the thing about staph. It's nasty and it hits hard fast. Right. Ah, uh, so... So, I'll be here to sub until she gets better. You are gonna come clean my house. Well, I mean, I've been here quite a few times to help out with your big parties. I already know the drill, so why not? Sure. Yeah. Uh, come on in. Great. So, how long did uh, the doctor say that Ruth is going to be on bed rest? Well, they don't really know. Staff can be very unpredictable. Uh, um, isn't it also highly contagious? Yeah. I'm actually kind of terrified to be around her right now, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to be around you if you're going to be around her. Oh, right, yeah. Um, well, maybe I could just, like, stay here for a bit. I, I don't want to impose, but don't you have, like, an extra maid's room that my stepmom stayed in a couple times when she was too tired to drive? Yeah. Um, great. No, no, that's not. One sugar with a splash of almond. Am I right? Um, yeah. And I almost forgot. Don't you have school or something? I actually just transferred to Crestwood here in Toluca Lake, so it's kind of perfect. Hmm. And what about Ruth? Doesn't she need your help? No. We have a nurse stopping by twice a day, so I'm all clear. Oh, you are hardcore. You just drink that straight. Always. Okay, here's the deal. You can stay here until Ruth gets better and you have to continue cleaning, but you have to find your own way to school and absolutely, absolutely no boys or parties. That's my job. Please, boys aren't even a blip on my radar. Oh, good. Are you coming? Okay. So, you see? These two right here. I have two in the front, two in the back, and one in the garage. So if anything goes missing or if you have any uninvited guests, I will know about it. Like I said, Miss Price, I drink my coffee straight. I'm about as boring as they come. Please, call me Harper. I don't want to feel as old as your grandmother. Um, I think let's, let's start cleaning the pool because, I mean, it's disgusting. And I will be upstairs. Shout if you need anything. Okay. Give me a holler. Thank you. <laughs> Just in time. Oh, no worries. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize. No. <laughs> I'm late. These look nice. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, good display. Hey. Weren't you just the one skimming the pool? Yes. Uh, I'm filling in for Harper Price's housekeeper, Ruth. I'm Peyton. Hi. I'm Stella. Stella. Yeah. I know. I'm actually a pretty big fan of yours. Not just of your blog, but also of your delicious strawberry cake pops. I will take two strawberry cake pops and a strawberry lemonade, please. Yeah, sure. 
You look a little young to be a housekeeper. I'm not a real housekeeper. I'm just filling in for my stepmom. I can't really afford for her to lose her job, so it's on me. Oh. Weren't you still in school? I am, actually. I'm a senior. Oh, how lovely. My daughter's a senior, too. She's at Crestwood High over on Hawthorne. That's crazy, because I'm, I'm actually transferring there on Monday. It'll look a lot better on my transcripts, and, um, you know, I'll probably find time to clean in the morning. And in the evenings when Harper goes to bed. Oh. Well, you know, it's always good to learn a little responsibility. My daughter actually works here at the shop most days after school. You know, I think I've actually heard you talking about that on your blog. I've probably seen her, but just didn't know who she was. Uh, that'll be 745. Let's see. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you later, Sammy. Oh, bye, Miss M. Nice to meet you. There you go. And um, just keep the change. Oh, thank you. Do you not have a car? No, I actually just walked over here. Oh. Well, why don't I just give you a ride? It's only like a block over. Really? Because I mean, that would be amazing. Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course, over here. Let's go. It's not very often I get to meet one of my readers, so that's very flattering. Well, hopefully one day when I'm a mom, I can be as good as you are. Thank you. Maybe you can convince my daughter of that, too. Don't you and Shay have, like, the perfect mother-daughter relationship? Nothing's ever really perfect. What about you? How about your mom, if, if you don't mind my asking? Yeah, um, she actually died while giving birth to me. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. It's fine. I mean, she must have been a pretty amazing person, giving up her life for mine. I'm sure she was. These are amazing, by the way. So good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they seem to be gaining a little traction. Actually, I've got them going out to a couple more places in this neighborhood, so things seem to be picking up. That is so cool. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, I would love to see how you do your vegan tortilla soup sometime. Mine just never seems to turn out right. Well, why don't we see how you size up making it with fresh veggies straight from farm to table? I went to the farmer's market and got some today. Really? Because I, I would love that. When were you thinking? No, oh, how about right now? I've got nothing going on. You got plans? I do not. Let's do it. Hey, I hope you're hungry. Peyton here just made the most delicious vegan tortilla soup I have ever had. Hi, I'm Peyton. You must be Shay. Hey. I'm so sorry. This is totally yours. Oh, don't be silly. Shay hasn't worn that thing in five years. Well, the soup isn't turning out too bad, actually. You know, if you're hungry. <laughs> it is really good. Thanks. So, Harper's house is nice inside? We've always wanted to see what it looks like in there. Well, you should totally come over sometime. Oh my gosh, now that you guys are neighbors, you should totally have a sleepover. How fun would that be? Yeah. <laughs> you got everything? Yes. Thank it you. It was so fun. We should do it again. Yes. Please, and, and soon. Of course. You know what's funny? It's almost like having another kid at the house. It, it just makes the house feel more alive. I mean, I'm blessed to have Shay, but I always wanted more children. I've always wanted a big family, too. Maybe one day all of our dreams will come true. Let's hope. Okay, good night. Night. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just grabbing a few of my things. I'm moving in with my new mom soon. You know, someone who actually enjoys mother-daughter bonding time. Oh, and I almost forgot. I need you to sign this form that says it's okay that I leave my old school and go to a new one. No? Good thing I'm 18 and I can do it myself.
whole thing was just so awkward. Ugh, I bet. But hey, you know, maybe this is a good thing. If it gets your mom out of your hair for a while, maybe she can even start a new blog. Neighbor made. How to be the perfect neighbor to the wayward girl next door. Gee, it's not funny. Hey, speaking of awkward... Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Feldman. Ugh, I loathe your hot mom. She's living out the fairy tale fantasy of every girl in this school. Which is? Banging Mr. Feldman, duh. Ew, gross. Come on, we all know that they're banging by now. Hey, listen, I'm gonna bang on you, all right? Go I'm, ahead, try. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, all right come on. Get Stay away! Get over here. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, you're so stupid! <laughs> This would be your locker. Thank you so much, Mr. Davison. I actually don't mind if students call me Alex. I like to not be so formal like a lot of the teachers, younger than most of them anyway. So when I get your transcripts, how about we have a sit, talk about college applications, what kind of schools interest you? Totally. Um, but to be honest, I'm really only looking at schools that are nearby. Oh, why is that? Sort of a mama's girl. She recently got really sick with some staff, and um, I don't want to fly the nest in case she needs me. All right. Well, I hope she gets better soon, then, for both your sakes. Thanks. So I'll be in touch as soon as your transcripts come in. Great. Who's your first period teacher? Oh, hi, Shay. Um, I'm actually really confused. Here, let me see. Oh, Mr. Feldman's class with me. We can wallow in our misery together. It's this way. Misery? But English is actually one of the few subjects I enjoy. Oh, it's not the subject. It's the teacher, Mr. Feldman. He and my mom are seeing each other. And what? You don't like him? I mean, he's fine, I guess. I just, not your dad. I get it. My stepmom can be a real pain too, but she's actually been coming around recently. She's listening a lot more. And hey, at least you have a dad, right? My mom told me about you losing your mom. I'm sorry. Yeah, I lost both of my parents actually. Life sucks, but even feeling sorry for yourself is a shelf life, so at some point you just have to Move on. Live life, right? Yeah. It's this way. Morning, everyone. Wait, your mom's dating him? It was perfectly tolerable, thanks to Shay. Oh, how lovely. Hey, why don't I make us some yummy virgin daiquiris? We go out to the pool, you girls tell me everything. Okay, that sounds amazing. <sighs> Actually, I've got to get to work, so... Oh, but you don't work Mondays. Yeah, well, since I was off all week, I picked up the closing shift tonight. Oh, okay. It's too bad. Well, do you mind if I stick around and hang by the pool with your mom? <laughs> of course. You girls have fun. Thanks. We'll see you later. We'll miss you. Your daiquiri recipe is my favorite. Oh, here we go. I'll wash it before Shay gets home. She won't even know you used it. Okay? You get changed. Meet me down at the pool. Thank you.
tell me you were dating such a babe, Miss Marshall. Yes, Isaac is a babe. But he's also really sweet and smart and young at heart. Like you. You know, um, I can't talk about it in front of Shay. It's kind of a sore point. Yeah, we talked about it a little bit before class. And you know how selfish us teenage girls can be at this age. She probably just needs a little bit more time. Yeah. Well, I hope she comes around soon. Now, you never talk about your mother-daughter problems on your blog. Why not? I bet so many people could benefit from that. I don't know. I just don't want to embarrass Shay any more than I feel like I already do. She hates the blog now. It's not like when she was little and she thought it was the coolest mom ever. Well, that's too bad because I've read all of your blogs and you're still the coolest mom I know. Oh, thank you, Peyton. But I bet your mom was pretty darn cool herself. Yeah. Well, I do hope that Shay comes around soon. Formative year mother-daughter bonding only happens one time. Yeah. I hope so, too. We used to do everything together, you know? And now it's always work or Jake or her friends or anything but me. So, What if you just gave her a little bit of space? If you ignored her a little bit, maybe she would miss you. You can't really ignore your child, Peyton. It's not how it works. <laughs> That's how it works with my stepmom. That woman does not give me the time of day. Anyway, it would give you more time to focus on you and that dreamboat, Mr. Feldman. He does get intimidating at times. Oh my God, please, you're a total 10. Oh, thank you, Peyton, that's very sweet. You know, I've always wanted to try your tasteful teen daughter makeup tips, but um, my stepmom would never buy me any. I wouldn't even know how to put it on. Oh, that's too bad. Well, it sounds like you need some makeup and some clothes. You don't even own a bathing suit? We need to go shopping. Yeah? Let's do it. I have to buy a new outfit for my date tonight with Isaac anyway. I just, I don't know if that's something I could really afford. Oh, shh. Mother made makeover is on me. Besides, you said it yourself. The formative years only happen once, right? You don't want to miss anything, do you? Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Actually, it's my turn. I'll do it. If you want to win. Thank you. Bad. Bad. Hey, what? I didn't even get that one. Oh, hey, Miss Sam. Hi, hey, Jake. Mom, what are you doing here? Well, uh, Peyton and I were just shopping around in the neighborhood and decided to drop in, grab a coffee, and say hi. I thought you were, I thought you were closing tonight. Well, I was supposed to originally, but then... But a miracle happened, and you just got off all of a sudden and decided to hang out with Jake here instead of spending time with us at the pool? You know, I can go. It's I okay, sh- Peyton. You're fine. Honey, I don't mind if you spend time with your boyfriend, but I really just, I can't believe that you would lie to me about it. Mom, I don't see what the big deal is. But can we talk about this at home and not in public? Yeah, sure. Bye, Jake. Bye, my son. I am so sorry, Shay. If I would have known, I of course wouldn't have suggested that we come here. It's fine. It's not your fault. Um, from Earth to Shay. Pretty great, this is my new line. Mm. Yeah, they're pretty perfect. 
Um, what's all that scrap? Miss Marshall took me shopping, and she's actually gonna give me a makeover tomorrow before school, so. Oh my god, I have a closet full of hand-me-downs I could have given you. Yeah, I just don't think any of that stuff actually fits the school dress code. <laughs> Well, fine, you can just wear whatever you want, you know, but just don't leave any of that mall brand stuff in my trash bag because I have, oh my God, stop it, because I have a reputation to uphold, so. Got it. And, babe, uh, don't cross-pollinate the laundry. <laughs> but, uh, oh, oh my God! So happy, so I love it. <laughs> Take care. On Mother Maid, we'll be covering all the fun things to do with your daughters over the weekends to keep that mother-daughter bonding on the up and up. Well, that's it, everybody. I'm Stella, and you can follow mine and my daughter Shay's adventures and see the recipe for these virgin strawberry daiquiris on at mothermaid underscore Cali or mothermaid.me. Come here. Thank you for dinner. Really nice. Well, thank you for agreeing to see me again this week. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We will. <laughs> I'll text you. You will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's not a yes, but um, I'll take it. Sorry, it's just when you didn't answer the door, I went around the side and the gate was open. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I was... I was in the shower. You did say 6.30, right? Um, did I? I'm ready for my mother made makeover. Okay. <laughs> you know, I could probably pass for your daughter, too. Does she look like her father? Hmm. When she's angry with me, yes. <laughs> Shay said that when he left, he didn't try to stop him. Why not? Uh, Dan was selfish. Just a little too involved in his work. and Our marriage didn't survive it. He cheated, didn't he? You just don't seem like the type of person to give up unless things get really bad. It's okay. You can tell me. Don't tell Shay, okay? I, I don't want her to hate her father. I would never say anything. Your secret's safe with me. So, um... What about your father? You don't really talk about him much. Yeah, he's gone too. Oh, Peyton. I can't even imagine all that you've been through. Well, I guess it was good that you had your stepmom, though, even though it was tough. Nothing he ever did was good enough for her, though. And he was never making enough money to support us, and she would never let him forget it. I think she's what really killed him. What do you mean? That when he died, I think it was because he wanted to escape her. That's awful. I'm so sorry. He had me, though. He called me his perfect Peyton. I was his pride and joy. Right before he died, he actually said that I was the one who saved him. And I'm sure you did. So, how do I look? Almost perfect. 
Oh, wait, actually, I have something that I wanted to give you. Oh, what'd you do? Oh, Jackie Joel. She's my favorite. I know. I just got it as a thank you for everything you've done for me lately. You've been like a second mom. Oh, Peyton. Give me a hug. It's so sweet. I mean, who does he think he is? Look at the set. Let's get put on Santa's naughty list together. Ew, gross. Uh, guys, I'm right here. <laughs> Check it out. That I saw you. Won't she be my neighbor? Hey, is it just me or does she not look exactly like your mom? You Morning. Thanks to your mom, I've officially been mother maid. Wait, what? Your mom gave me a makeover before school today. I think I left when you were still in the shower. Oh, that was really sweet of her. I mean, I hope that that's okay. She just has such great taste and I mean, I have like none. No, it's fine. Totally, I mean, she did a great job. I think I need to call your mom, see if she'll take me shopping for prom. <laughs> so what does she do? Like, yeah. I love it. You don't want to talk about it. Good morning, Mr. Feldman. Morning. Peyton! Hey, Peyton! Alex! Hey! Hey, I got your transcripts. Everything looks pretty good. Yeah, well, I'm actually doing my own college applications now, so looks like I won't need any help. Oh, that's okay. It's just, I I spoke with your old school. You said that you just sort of left and they never heard anything from your mother about it. Stepmother. Right. Anyway, I tried, I tried calling your house a few times yesterday and then again this morning. Hope you don't mind. I just I wanted to make sure that your stepmother had all the info regarding college applications. Well, you know, she's probably just sleeping in her room. She's really sick and doesn't just get up to answer the landline. That's fine. I figured I would just swing by today after school, drop off the brochures, introduce myself. It's on my way back downtown where I live anyway, so... I really don't think that's a good idea. She's super contagious. I mean, I'm not even staying over there. It's fine. I've got hand sanitizer in the car and the immune system of an alligator, so I'm sure I'll be good. You know, I can just take the brochures. Nah, it's fine. I'll swing by. It'll be quick. Besides, I want to meet her. Great. So why don't you just swing by around five? That's when she gets up to make dinner. Perfect. See you then. Jeez, Peyton, you scared me. Uh, sorry, I, I tried knocking on the front door. Yeah, I must have just not gotten there in time. And like I said, my stepmom's still in bed and feels awful, so it's really not a good time. Okay, um, um, another time then. Of course. I hope you feel better soon, Miss Kelly.
Oh, shoot. Oh, sure. Hello? Peyton? Does hand sanitizer work on rocks? <laughs> Later, alligator. Hey, um, why does it smell like something died in the disposal? It's probably that fancy Asian food you've been raving about is rotting. Or maybe it's that your cabana boy Bronson threw up and forgot to flush. Hmm. Well, I'm going to be going away for the weekend, and when I come back, this place better smell like French oak currant. Okay? Fast improvement, Miss Kelly. <laughs> hey, nice job, Shay. Thanks, Mr. Felton. Mm -hmm. Peyton, you hear about Mr. Davison? Who? Alex, the guidance counselor. Oh, yeah, right, what happened? He didn't show up to school today. His car was parked out back in the teacher lot, but no one's seen him. That's, um, that's really weird. Wasn't he supposed to go to your old house yesterday? What? I mean, uh, yeah, he, uh, he was, but he never showed up. I talked to my stepmom about it last night, but I don't know what happened. Mr. Feldman, may I use the ladies' room, please? Your recipe? It is. Hmm. I don't remember sharing my lasagna recipe on my blog site. Oh, well, surely you must have. Hmm. So, how was the rest of your week? I saw you had a very fun, well-deserved spa day. And I love your manicure. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, it was good. I got a lot done. I'm working on this new mother-daughter travel piece now. Oh. That sounds amazing. Well... If anything's too boring for Shay to partake in, I'd be happy to help you test run them. Okay. Too much oregano? I know it's really easy to overdo it with the herbs, but I tried to follow her recipe exactly to a T. I'm just suddenly not very hungry. Would you guys mind terribly if I crash for the night? Harper's away for the weekend, and I always get kind of scared staying in that big house all by myself. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, you shouldn't be walking home this late at night anyway by yourself. Right. Even though it's just one street over and right behind us. Perfect. And they lived happily ever after. <sighs> Mom, do you want to do something together when I get off work? Yeah, like what? Maybe lay by the pool. We can order pizza. You know, something. I think that's okay. <laughs> Sure, that sounds like a really fun afternoon. Hey, you want to invite Jake? 
I know how much he loves the pool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Um, I made breakfast. Perfect. Where's Shay? Oh, she had to work today. Oh, that's too bad. Hopefully she isn't lying about it again. It is such a beautiful day outside. What did you want to do? Um, you know what? Sadly, I am already busy today. Oh. With Mr. F? Actually, uh, Shay and I decided to have a mother-daughter day when she gets done with work. But hey, maybe you and I could hang out sometime next week. Yeah. That sounds good, I guess. Maybe Monday? I mean, I know that's your birthday. Uh, yeah, it, it is. It sure is. Um, sure, yeah, that sounds like a nice plan. I just, I'm just trying to sneak in a little kiss. Oh. Just, um, oh, uh, <laughs> good kiss. <laughs> so, Shay, she seems like she's she's doing good today. She kind of is, right? Yeah. Maybe she's finally starting to come around. I hope so. I hope so, too. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I was just... Never mind. Shay. Sorry. Shay, wait! It's okay. It's my fault. No, Sorry. no, it's yeah. okay. What are we gonna do with you, Shay Marshall? I really want to be your sister. The good sister, but you're making it so hard on me. If we can't learn to live together. Wow. Then something is just gonna have to give. Did you have fun with Jake? Yeah, it was good. Good. Hey, Shay, can we talk? Sure. I'm sorry about what happened last night. I'd never want you to feel uncomfortable in your own home. Mom, it's fine. I'm a big girl. And... I need to be more understanding of your relationship with Mr. Feldman. Honey, I know it can't be easy, him being your teacher and all. But you have the right to date whomever you want. And I want you to be happy. I think I've taken the anger I have toward Dad out on you, which isn't fair. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, sweetie. I'm your mom. 
I'm always going to be here for you to talk to or to vent to or to take your anger out on if that's what you need to do. Hmm. Mom, I know Dad cheated on you. How did you? I've always known. He made a huge mistake letting you go. You know that? You were a good wife to him and... You are the best mom. I want you to know that. Thank you, sweetie. I love you. I love you too. Wanna watch that chick flick now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Welcome back. What the hell is this? I was baking a cake. You know, one of those things you refuse to eat because of the high carb count. You ungrateful little brat. I don't know what I was thinking, letting you stay here. Now, you need to leave before I call Ruth and tell what you've done. Go on. Call her. See if she cares. Did you hear what I said? Little child, you need to leave now. Fine. You know, I'm actually going someplace new anyhow. But... I just need a little help from you getting there. Crazy little bitch. What are you doing? Hi, my name is Peyton Kelly, and um, I, I've been injured. Yeah, um, I'm staying with my mom's boss, and she just gouged me in the hand with a wine opener. Manipulative little sociopath. Oh my god. Yes, I'm at 450 Aspendale. Please, please send somebody quick. Do you really think that they're gonna believe your lie, you little twit, when I am a famous fashion designer? Ray, the perfect Harper Price, who's so well known for her totally perfect bedside manner. I am going to destroy... Did you get a makeover? You have someone you can call? Some way you can stay this evening? Thanks. I think I do. Thank you. Peyton, are you okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> she just like stabbed me in the hand. I was in total shock. My God, so she stabbed you in the hand with a wine opener just because you wouldn't clean? I know, I was just as shocked as you are. I mean, I know how insistent she is on the clean house. My stepmom worked for her for five years, but I just, I had no idea what a violent streak she had. Well, that is no excuse. It's a good thing the cops took her away. I just, I feel so terrible about everything. And to inconvenience you guys, I just, I feel awful. But my stepmom is still really contagious. Hey, listen. You are fine here, okay? You are safe here. You can stay here as long as you want, okay? Thank you, Stella. Of course. You just let me know if you need anything, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. Is everything okay? Yeah, she's a little shaken up, but I think she's going to be okay. That's weird, huh? That Harper would just stab her with a wine opener? To say the least. She said that Harper was angry because she didn't clean. Really? That's it? Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Mom, I just don't buy it. You don't buy what? Something is off about me. 
Even when she's not around, it's like she's watching or something. And now she's staying in our house indefinitely? It's like that's what she wanted all along. Honey, her stepmother is ill with a contagious staph infection. Okay, but has anyone actually talked to her stepmom? I haven't seen Peyton call her or say she's gonna see her even once. And I don't like the way she talks about you, dresses like you, any of it. Shay, she doesn't have a good relationship with her stepmother since her father died. I think it's completely normal for her to want to cling to someone who's close. That's just it, though. We aren't close with her. We barely know her. What do you want me to do, Shay? She needs a place to stay. She's got nowhere else to go. <sighs> I just think we need to be careful around her, is all. Especially you. means a lot. Morning, Peyton. How do you feel? I am fine, and I don't want to talk about it because... Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Oh, what beautiful wrapping. I already wished her a happy birthday this morning when I came downstairs. Hmm. Well, try not to look too enthused. I mean, it's only your mother's birthday. Thank you, Peyton. This is very nice. Oh, wait. Don't open the card until we leave for school. But you can open the present right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, That's very nice, isn't it? Oh, you're welcome, and I'm glad you like it. It's a shame. What did you get for Stella? I mean, hopefully you at least got her a card. I did get her something. I just have to go print it out at school today. I didn't want my mom seeing it in our printer, if you must know. It's okay, sweetie. I can't wait. <laughs> and just remember, let's all be sure to communicate regularly with our children. Because anyone from any walk of life in any neighborhood in the U.S., no matter how safe, can be a victim of domestic violence. And if you know someone who has experienced this type of violence, please contact your local authorities or contact the Domestic Violence Crisis Line at the website below. She's not telling the truth about everything. I mean, the woman who lives behind us isn't the pinnacle of altruism or anything, but she's not some crazy psycho. Maybe she was drunk and she didn't mean to hurt her. Or maybe Peyton said something off cut to set her off. You did say Peyton could be passive aggressive. No, I'm telling you, I don't think Harper did that to her. Harper Price is a famous fashion designer. I follow her online. She would never do something this dumb. She cares way too much how she's seen. Bitchy being the only mutually exclusive adjective inserted here. <laughs> right, fine. But I agree with Shay. Something stinks in suburbia. Hey, guys. How's it going? Mm. Typical maniac. I mean, manic Monday. Ouch. What happened to your hand? Oh, Shay didn't tell you? Yeah. I accidentally cut it, peeling this big, juicy red apple, but... You should see the apple. I love your red blouse, by the way. Seems a lot more likely than what she told me. I'm sorry, did you say something? Actually, I did. I said I think you're lying about what actually happened with Harper last night. But why would I lie about that? I don't know. Maybe to get your grimy little press-on nailed mittens closer to my mother? Well, someone needs to be around to inspire everything that Mother Maid stands for because we all know that clearly you're incapable. I think 
think I've changed my mind when I'm getting my mother for her birthday. I'm gonna give her the greatest gift of all. And kick your ass out of Dodge. Okay, hey, now shake, shake. Oh. Oh. Get her, shake. Hey, hey, hey. That's enough. Ladies, just... She started it, Mr. Feldman. These kids were all bullying me about my wounded hand and oh, nails. please, no one's buying your crap anymore. Especially not me. Shay, stop, okay? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? I don't know, Mr. F. Good question. Maybe it's this monster here trying to steal my mother. Or maybe it's me walking in on my half-naked English teacher making out with my mother in our house. <sighs> Are you okay? I don't know what provoked her like that. Wait, what? You got suspended? Two days, but still. Ugh, all right. Well, um, maybe I can talk to Isaac. Mom, no. Don't bother. It's part of the reason I got suspended. What? Why? Can we please talk about this later tonight? I'm already late for my shift. Yeah. yeah. All right, fine. I'll see you at home. Shay, I just wanted to say, I am Save sorry. it, Peyton. Leave me alone. Uh, can you lock up for me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, and tell your mom I say happy birthday, will you? Will do. Wait, Sammy! Have a good evening. Oh, hey, jeez. Sorry, Mr. Feldman, I didn't mean to scare you. What are you doing here so late? I just came by to say thank you, you know, for defending me earlier. Well, that's no problem. Um, I don't like it when any of my students fight like that. Which is kind of sad because I thought Shay and I were getting along so well. Shay, uh, she's, she's not easy to warm up to. But you know what, she's a good kid. I don't think that she was trying to bully you. She's, um, she's going through something right now, which is no excuse. I actually just kind of feel sorry for her. You, uh, you want to ride back to Stella's? I'm actually heading that way to drop off her birthday present, so... That would be wonderful. Thank you. What are you getting her? Uh, well... <clears throat> that is gorgeous. 
And I know how much she loves white gold. Right. I have to admit, though, it isn't quite as good as what I got her. Oh, yeah? And what'd you get her? A new daughter. <laughs> what? Hey, Sammy, it's Shay. Can you by any chance come back and lock up for me? I can't find my... Oh, never mind. I found them. <laughs> Sorry, it's... It's been a long day. Stage this place. Hate to say it, but I really hope that's Isaac. Just a couple more days and we'll find a place for her if her stepmom's not better. Happy birthday! Aw, oh, thank you. Wow, it's great. Happy birthday! to my other mother. Happy birthday to you. Now make a wish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> you know, I actually modeled this recipe after your cake pop recipe. Of course, the ingredients weren't exact and I had to change it up a little bit because it's a cake. <laughs> but I think it still should be super Delicious. Ah. So, did you make a wish? I did. You know what's weird is that Isaac hasn't texted me or called me. He was supposed to be here at 7. Mm, that is weird. What, do you think it's poisonous?
found this on the victim's body. Does that belong to you? That's my bracelet. Miss Marshall, we heard there may have been an altercation between you and Mr. Feldman this afternoon. Can you please tell us about that? Wait. You don't think that my daughter could have... We need to ask the question, then. I didn't try to kill Mr. Feldman, Detective. I don't know where he possibly could have gotten this. Wait, did you take my bracelet? Excuse me? Are you kidding, or... No, it was you. I know you did this. Girls, please. Look, maybe there's a chance that he took it so that he could do something special with it for my birthday. I don't know. Maybe he... Maybe he wanted to have one made just like it for me. I mean, it seems like this... This was an accident, right? He fell. Well, ma'am, that's kind of what we're trying to figure out right now, but we can't really ask him these questions while he's still in his coma. So, in the meantime, Miss Marshall, can you please tell us where you were tonight around, let's say, 7, 7.15 p.m.? I was at the coffee shop closing up. Were you with anybody at that point? I was with Sammy. We worked together. Sammy? Sammy Bennett. He's a barista. Okay, and what time did the two of you leave? Well, we left right at 7, but I was still there because... I couldn't find my phone or my keys, so I stayed there looking for them. You couldn't find your phone or your keys? No, I I looked everywhere and then I found my phone in my apron and my keys were by my car. Look, I'd had a long day and I guess I just wasn't thinking. Okay, and you didn't make a trip back to the high school at any point for any reason? Detective, I really don't appreciate my daughter being accused of something nefarious here. Mrs. Marshall, we're just asking questions, that's all at this point. Well, I don't like your line of questioning. Why don't you ask her where she was this evening? Or the afternoon Alex Davison went missing. What? I was at home making a birthday cake for your mother. You can check the security cameras what time I got home and what time I left to come here. Same goes for the day that Mr. D took off, but I can't believe that you would accuse me of something so... Girls, please! Look, I really don't feel comfortable with my daughter answering any more of your questions until we have our attorney present. Okay. We understand this has been a rough evening for you. And we're sorry. We'll be in touch when we uh, know more. And we'll go ahead and see ourselves out. Y'all have a good night. He's gonna be okay, Mom. <laughs> I know it. Marshall, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, listen, any chance you have access to the school directory at home? Wonderful. Could you possibly get me the address of a Peyton Kelly? Great. Wonderful. Um, um, just text it to me. That'd be great. Thank you so much. Oh, she did something to Isaac. I'm gonna talk to Harper, see what really happened over there. That doesn't matter anymore. Okay, fine. Just text me when you're here and don't knock. Wait.
Miss Price, hi, I'm Shay Marshall. I live just behind you. I'm Stella's daughter. How are you? I just spent last night in a 10-foot cell with a bunch of angry hookers, and now I can't move my neck. How do you think I'm doing? Sorry. If you're looking for that monster, she's not here, so... I know. She's staying with us now. Wow. Godspeed. Good luck to you. Harper, wait. I know you didn't hurt Peyton the way she said. And I believe she tried to kill my mom's boyfriend this evening. Not surprised. Girl is ruthless. I'll give her that. What, what do you want from me? She says she was here when he was attacked, and I believe she's trying to frame me for his murder. She says that the security cameras will prove that she was here and that she was baking a cake for my mother. Certainly not. She left a mess all over my counter from cake batter the other night, and which started the fight, and, and tonight she had a neatly staged setup of baking materials. Is there any way she could have maybe snuck out without the security camera seeing her leave? Uh, if her skinny ass snuck under the security cameras out the other side, yeah, I suppose. Did you already take out your trash? Honey, I have no idea. But it's, it's this way, so. Did you already clean up the other display in the kitchen? Honey, it's been a really long night. The last thing I'm going to do is clean up after that twit. Good. Can you not touch anything until the cops come? Sure, I would love to have her put away. <sighs> Gotta call my mom and get her out of that house now. Hmm. I'm coming with you. I wouldn't miss this for all of Fashion Week. Mrs. Kelly? She knows you killed your stepmom. She was just there. It's over. What? No. 
No, no. Harper poisoned my stepmother because she wasn't doing her job. The poison is in her pantry to prove it. Harper also killed Alex when he stumbled across my stepmom's body. Before Stella could get here. Harper killed you too. We had found out about her little secret. She wanted to kill us both. Really tried to save Shane. Mom? Mr. Feldman? What about him? I'm sure he's gonna have some interesting things to say. <laughs> oh, I'll take care of Mr. F before he wakes up. Don't you worry about that. You're sick, Peyton. How could you kill your own stepmom? She was barely alive! By the time that I put an end to my sick father, what little bit that was left of her was sure as hell no mother to me. Peyton, Peyton, stop this. Stop it right now. Stella, so happy that you're here. Shay went, Shay went crazy and then, and then she killed Harper. Stop it! Stop! The police are on their way. Please. Stella, you don't, you don't understand. See, I know what she was doing. It's, it's what came over here to stop her. Peyton, it's over. Give me the knife. Peyton. Look. I promise that if you give me the knife, I will get you the help that you need. Okay? Just give me the knife. Mom. Shay. She hurt you? Are you okay? No, I'm... Are you all right? I'm fine. Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay. I'm not hurt. No. She lied! No! 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 So, like I said, as soon as we hear from the DA's office, we'll be in touch and we'll you know, take the next steps. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help. My no, pleasure. We're just happy everyone's safe. No, excuse me. Yeah, of course. I thought you were supposed to be perfect. There is no such mother.